Godmorgen. Godmorgen. <laughs> what are you doing today? Good question. So we are going ice fishing. <laughs> Can you say that in Norwegian? The whole sentence or? Yes. Vi skal isfiske. Are you sure you know how to speak Norwegian? <laughs> Huh? You sure you know how to speak Norwegian? Are you bitch. <laughs> Come on now. So we were told that it's rained a few days ago and there might be a layer of thin ice on top of a very thick layer of ice. Which which means the whole area is safe, but there is a slight possibility that might, we might fall through 5 to 10 centimeters of ice before we get stopped by a big thick brick layer of ice. It just makes the thing a little bit more inconvenient, I guess. But so far it feels very... Very sturdy. Should be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. So this is what we are gonna sit on. And my lovely YouTube subscribers, this is your comfy chair. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> sorry. I have cleared the snow from the place I'm gonna drill a hole. This thing is gonna drill all the way through the eyes, hopefully. <laughs> Might take some time, but we'll get a nice hole and then we can do the fishing from there. Mm. Mm -hmm. How long would that take? Good question. Depends on how deep the ice is and how much stamina I have. <laughs> <laughs> have you done this before? Yeah. It's, it's quite easy, but it can be quite heavy as well. And when you take this thing out, will it come out with a cylinder of ice? No. Oh. It will just come out with like loads of... Pieces. Yeah. Almost like... Um, what do you call them? You know that ice cream you can get? Oh, What's slushy. It? Almost like slushy, yeah. Oh, we're making slushy. Yes. Norwegian style. Norwegian slushy. With fish flavor. <laughs> And will the hole be frozen again later in the winter? Yeah, yeah. Probably will be frozen again tonight. If really? It, if it, yeah, if it's still minus degrees, yeah. Because I was kind of worried about what if people walk past here and they just fall through our fishing hole. <laughs> but I guess it's not big enough. It's not big enough and people will see it anyway. Oh. They will steer around. Steer okay. Out. Lots to go. Oh my god! I'm through. <laughs> Are you ready to see the explosion of water? Explosion of water? Have a look. Wait. <gasps> Oh 
Oh my god. How deep was that? That's almost the hole. So I think it went up to here or something. So probably it's quite a lot. About a meter? A bit less. A meter? Are you crazy? It's like 30 centimeters. What? Well, that's definitely more than 50 centimeters. I'm just trying to make all I think he's really short. You bitch. <laughs> We'll update you guys when we catch a fish but let's show you what we're gonna use so these are the um, ice fishing rods yeah we use and then are they different or just kind of one is bigger so one is bigger there's different brand I think but yeah they do the same job and are they different from normal fishing rods well they obviously don't have a long rod no so yeah. they are a bit easy to handle yeah. so when you're gonna let them go down. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can manage this thing. Sorry. So yeah, when you want to let it down, you push this one. Yeah. And it goes. Maybe that's easier. And how do you know how deep you have to go? You just until you hit the bottom. Yeah. You probably won't feel the bottom, but you need to go quite far down. Yeah. And the, the spot we are now is one of the shallower places oh, okay. in the middle of the lake. So I you don't need to go that far. I remember in summer we yep. were able to kind of just our head above the water. Oh, you'll probably go up here. You can, there's a big rock down here as well you can stand on. Yeah. And so then you probably have water up to your waist or something. So it's probably a meter high. So yeah, you push this one and then the, it will go down. Mm -hmm. And then when you want to go up, you just use this one. Yeah. And how do you know if the fish is biting? Oh, you'll feel it. This one will start to go like... Crazy. Uh, okay. And then you'll feel the whole rod be like... Yeah. Nibbing. And what thing. are we going to use as bait? So, ideally we would have used worms mm. or maggots or something, but we didn't have anything because... It was a bit bad Last planned. <laughs> we didn't plan this at all. But my dad had these um, balls, yeah. which is supposed to be quite good. I'm not. I've never used them before. Are they made of actual fish food? Uh, no, probably not. I have no clue what they're or made they of. Just it says plastic. it's tasting like it's gonna taste like salmon eggs. It's gonna look like salmon eggs. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, it's gonna be the first time trying them. They are called gulp. Gulp. <laughs> Whatever. They're made in the US, oh. apparently. So for all this yeah, US people, all if the crazy we don't get stuff. any fish, it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> we blame you. Yeah. We're gonna starve and then we're gonna blame you. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you guys later. Hi there. Ade! Okay. That was quick. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about yesterday, but our camera ran out of space, so we didn't manage to finish the fishing part. But unfortunately, we didn't manage to get any fish. But before we left yesterday, Jason was very excited about a cone I found, a pine cone. So he wanted to put that in um, the fishing hole to see if it was frozen today. So there you go. All frozen. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so 
cool. If you cut it out, it could be some kind of artwork. Mm. So, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Someone doesn't want to talk today. No. <laughs> Maybe I can do some vlog together. So yeah, we don't know why we didn't catch any fish, but I mean, it's our first time. Um, it's your first time. It's my first time. <laughs> but also this guy here, he basically doesn't live in Norway anymore, so. Because my boyfriend kidnapped me to UK. So okay, yeah. anyway, the point <laughs> is, <laughs> there are a few factors that we think um, made us kind of not get any fish yesterday. Um, one is probably the time of the year. Well, that's what Wula thinks. The fish is probably a bit less active this time of the winter. So now it's January, or a bit further down the winter. And secondly, probably the bait we use. We're not sure, they're quite old. We didn't really prepare, maybe worms or other things could be better. We didn't do our research. Um, what else? Maybe the location. I don't know, we're right in the middle of the lake. I don't know if that's where the fish go. Do they like to go maybe around the edges? No idea. And we didn't really uh, spend enough time. We had like one and a half hours probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the cold. So yeah, we're not very patient. I go. But we'll try next time and if we ever catch anything, we'll update you on how we managed and what we did differently or what we will do differently. But now we've got got to go and visit some friends mm. and hold some babies. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Hade. Hade bra. <laughs>